Obesity isn't just about the number on a scale, it's a global health crisis. From heart disease to diabetes, stroke, and certain cancers, obesity is a driving force behind multiple deadly conditions. Today, we're exploring why obesity is skyrocketing worldwide, the causes behind it, and what lessons we can learn from countries that are keeping their populations healthier. Stick around, because some of the stats may shock you, and I promise to sprinkle in a little humor along the way. Globally, over 2 billion people are overweight or obese, and that number is growing every year. In the United States, nearly 42% of adults are obese, and the rates are rising among children too. That means nearly 1 in 2 adults and 1 in 5 children are facing serious health risks just from excess weight. And here's a surprising twist. While obesity rates are highest in the U.S. and many Western countries, some low- and middle-income countries are now catching up due to urbanization, processed food availability, and sedentary lifestyles. Obesity isn't just a cosmetic issue, it's a domino effect for multiple health problems. Heart disease. Extra weight strains the heart, increasing blood pressure and cholesterol. Type 2 diabetes. Obesity is the leading risk factor for insulin resistance. Stroke. Higher rates of hypertension and atherosclerosis make strokes more likely. Cancer. Obesity increases risk for cancers like breast, colon, liver, and pancreatic. Sleep apnea and fatty liver disease. Extra fat affects organs and breathing. In other words, obesity isn't just a number. It's a major threat to every system in your body. Why are obesity rates climbing? Some reasons are obvious. Diet, high-calorie processed foods, sugary drinks, and large portion sizes. Sedentary lifestyle, less walking, more screen time. Sleep deprivation and stress can mess with your hormones, increasing appetite. But there's more genetics, gut microbiome, and even your environment play a role. Living in areas without parks, sidewalks, or safe exercise spaces makes it harder to stay active. And yes, sometimes your zip code can determine your waistline. Some countries are doing a fantastic job at keeping obesity in check. Japan. Portion control, fresh foods, and daily walking. Obesity rates hover around 4%, compared to 42% in the U.S. Mediterranean countries like Greece and Italy. Diets rich in olive oil, vegetables, legumes, and fish help prevent weight gain. Nordic countries. Public health campaigns, community exercise programs, and easy access to fitness reduce obesity rates. Even small daily changes like walking more, eating fresh produce, and managing portion sizes can have a huge impact over time. For people struggling with obesity, medical interventions exist, lifestyle programs, structured diets, exercise regimens, and behavioral therapy. Medications. Prescription drugs can help regulate appetite and metabolism. Surgery. Bariatric procedures for severe obesity can dramatically improve health outcomes. But here's the key. The best results come from combining prevention, lifestyle changes, and medical support. Obesity doesn't just impact health, it affects society too. In the U.S., obesity-related health care costs are estimated at $173 billion per year, and productivity losses add billions more. Globally, rising obesity strains health care systems, particularly in countries that are still developing access to medical care. This is a problem that affects everyone, directly or indirectly. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And here's something super important. Drop a comment below sharing your thoughts, experiences, or strategies for managing weight and obesity. Your comment helps YouTube's algorithm show this video to people who need it most, while also helping our channel grow. Let's spread awareness together. But there's another global health crisis closely linked to obesity one that silently affects millions every year. Want to know what it is? Stay tuned for episode 5, where we uncover the silent epidemic of stroke and reveal how obesity, diabetes, and lifestyle choices fuel it. Stay informed, stay healthy, and remember, small daily choices can prevent big health problems tomorrow. Your future self will thank you. See you in the next episode.